Generic greetings and welcome to Beverage Plus Blood Bowl Chaos Edition. Today's beverage is... <sighs> water. It's a bit boring that, isn't it? I should have made something up actually. I'd just rather be honest, it's water. Mm. Mm. I've had too much sugary beverages as of late, so on to the old water at the moment. Yeah, okay, it's generic uh, football beverage. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, you can admit, you can admit, it's, no, not a beer. It's not a beer. No, it's just water. Anyway, Blood Bowl. I'm going to click, click Tails for the toss result, and I'll be the receiver. This is something that I play on and off pretty much all the time, right? And this team here that I'm using is actually something that I've been playing for over a year, right? I haven't. I, I I do play um, leagues with friends online as well as um, just like you know, non friends, just strangers and such. But I would never really use this team. This team is, yeah, it's it's a bit ropey because it's basically built around a tactic called the claw bomb. You don't really play football as such as smash your opponent into several thousand tiny pieces. And although some may argue that it is a valid tactic, I would argue that it's got not much sportsmanship in it. And, you know, again, people could argue the toss about, well, does that really matter? It's a game, blah, blah. Yeah, I think it really does. So I wouldn't really play this online because it's, uh, yeah, y you can destroy a team, right? I mean, this team I've been playing for oh, pr probably about a year. If anyone that knows how it works, I've got a 3,700 rating, right? Which is about 1,500 of what... No, what, it, you start at 2,000, let's put it that way, right? So it's nearly twice as powerful as what you start off with. And you can destroy a team... In a game, as in they could be a good rating because you will knock out and damage and kill a lot of their team, it, it pretty much ends their season. So it's uh, not something I would really play online, but it's something I really like to play single player. Anyway, we've got a nice, perfect blood ball weather kickoff and the ball's landed. Because I choose to receive, I actually get to play first. So I'm facing the humans, as you can see. There they are there. I'm playing the chaos. And I'm just going to get them inside the... Basically, get them inside the, uh, inside the jab and work the body. I'm going to move my guys up here first. Now, I... I have done videos on Blood Bowl before, but um, I don't. I think it was a while ago, so I'm going to explain what I'm doing. I'm moving these guys up because, as you can see, these green bits here, it's where they need. you can move. I can actually move them further, but that's where I have to roll, and on one, they fall over. But I want to really think about when I'm going to start punching. Now, these are the moves that um, are sort of non-risky, just moving them around. So, for example, picking up ball is quite risky. Normally, because if you fail, known as a fumble, then it's basically turn over, they get to do a turn. I've got a 2 plus to pick the ball up, and that guy has sure hands, which means if he fail, he should be alright anyway. Now, I'm going to run up to here. There we go. Ah, there we go. Going for it. So, I try to go for it there, and I failed. So, I'm going to use one of my re-rolls and pass. I've got a total of 6 re-rolls. I'll hand it off to this guy for a 3 plus. It said extra arms. That means he failed his original roll. You can see on the bottom here. There you go. Failed the original roll. So... Did his extra arms. Uh, success. Is that right? Oh, no. Yeah, I, I, I would have failed if it wasn't for the extra arms. That's fine. Anyway, I'll use this guy with the extra arms. And I'm going to run up uh, this side up to up to there. Right? I want to go up to there. I don't want to go any further than that. I'm going to push on the right-hand side, I think. So, let's start punching some people. So, I'm going to use this guy and knock this guy's lineman. There's my two rolls. So, I'm going to knock myself down or I'm going to push it back. I'm going to push it back and I'm going to push him towards the center there. And I'll follow up with that just to keep crowding him. I'm going to do the same to this guy here. Do a block. There we go. Defender down. I'm going to push him to there. However, I am going to follow up because regardless of what happens injury-wise, I will pile on him because I've got piling on. So, bat him. I've actually knocked him out anyway. Dead. Oh, good grief. <laughs> I think I mentioned at the start of this video that um, you can kill a lot of people with this, this, uh, this setup. Yeah, it's happening already. Oh, I've used wild animal. That is a minotaur and it can... Uh, well, basically, you've got an ability. You, when you try to do something, you do a wild animal roll. And if it's not a blitz or a block, uh, it's basically a 50 50 chance of him doing nothing. But if, you're t if, if it is a blitz or a block, whereas that's a block, uh, it's basically a 1 in 6 chance he still failed. Anyway, I've still got 1 dice to. Oh no, I've got 2 dice because this guy's got plus 1. Oh! Wrong, 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 wrong. I moved him there by accident. Oh, that's one of the things that I shouldn't have done. Anyway, let's blitz this guy. Difference between a blitz and a block. A block is something that you will do when you're next to them. A blitz is when you run forward like that. You can only do one blitz a turn. Right, I'm going to do a defender stumbles. 
Defender Stumbles is, is slightly different from the other result because if they've got dodge, they will get out of it. However, I've got tackle, which negates their dodge, so I'm going to punch them in the face. I'm not going to follow up. Bang! And then they fall on the ground. There we go. And then I'm going to actually, I am going to advance up to there. There we go. That's something you can do when you've done a, a blitz. Right, I've got one dice against this guy. You might as well take it. It's a pushback. I'll take a pushback. Go to there. I'll advance up. And there we go. It is now the end of the turn. There we go. Fantastic. Let me have a sip of beverage. Mm. This is seriously the perfect, perfect beverage game. Right, so, uh, that guy's hit me, and because of my strength and such, and just other factors, I have to pick the result. So he's rolled two dice, I choose the result. Obviously, it's going to be one of these dice, so it's going to have to be, well, they're both the same. Uh, both down, so we've both got blocks, so we just go, and sort of headbutt each other. If he had block and I didn't, I would fall over. That guy's dodged over me. He's knocked my guy holding the ball. That blitz, is that a blitzer? That's a star player. It's Griff Overwall, uh, Overwald. Wow. He's actually an amazingly good player. Star players are something you just sort of buy. Um, you don't have them in your team as standard. They are a star player that you hire extra. So, this is problematic because the ball's there. If they get the end zone, guess what? They win. If they get more you know, more touchdowns, then I, I will lose. So it's not something I want to do. So first thing I'm going to do is get this guy up. Uh, and I'm going to move him over to there. It's actually a two-dicer. So I'm going to have to roll twice here. First dice, second dice is fine. So I just want to crowd the plate a bit. And I'm going to get that guy over there. This is going to be first dice to move there, which is two plus, and then two plus to pick the ball up, which we're fine. So now I've definitely got that ball. I'll stand this guy up. There we go. And not move, Okay. We'll leave that as is. Right, so, this guy is not in anything. I'm going to move him over to there. He's not in anyone's tackle zone. And we'll move him to there. And then another sip of beverage. Hmm. Right, so, I want to start... I think I want to kill Griff Overwall because he's pissing me off. Um, although, let's get some easy stuff in. Let's get... That's their catcher, and that's their catcher as well. Let's, let's punch their catcher in the face. And it's just a pushback. I can handle that. And he's got sidestep. I will hit him and then follow it up. There we go. This guy has got... Oh, he's not in a very good position because he's got a guy with plus one strength next to him. And this guy's got plus one strength as well. So they're both strength four. There's the statistics there. That's problematic. So if I attack him, it's two dice, but they choose the result. Or they choose which dice they we're going to use. I'm going to hit him there. And pick that one. And we'll bang! Knock him on the floor, he's been knocked out. You can't really see it because it's on this snowy field and such. Um, the field, for whatever reason, <laughs> I always seem to get this snowy one. It, it, when you're doing the campaign, it actually depends on which stadium you go to. But uh, yeah, this is the one we're at at the moment. So I've got a blitz to do, so I'm going to use my Minotaur and blitz forward. Here we go. So, two dice I choose. Oh, it's attacker down. Oh, this is, this is the worst possible result, right? Because whatever I pick, that Minotaur is going to go down. I can use a reroll, but... Because the Minotaur is a loner, there's a 50-50 chance that I just won't get it. I didn't get the reroll because of the loner, so my Minotaur's fallen over, right? That's just bad luck. That is just bad luck. The game, after all, is a dice game, right? It is sort of based on luck. The, it really is about risk mitigation. Uh, so, you want to really reduce your risk as much as possible. Look at Griff. Do you see how many dodges? He just dodged all the way around there. Eventually, however... Yeah, that's going to happen. He's going to fall over. So, they were setting themselves up letting themselves up for a, a bit of a blitz against this guy. However, I managed to take him out. I'm trying to get this Minotaur up. Wild Animal, because it's an action that isn't involving a blitz, it's a 50-50 chance. I failed. I'm not going to re-roll because he'll end up just loaning it. Right, let's punch this guy in the face and see if I can clear a zone. Let's use pushback. He's going to come towards this area. That's fine. I'll follow it up. And then I'm going to use this guy. Three dice I choose. Ah, dodge, block, and sidestep. This is problematic. I'm going to re-roll that. And uh, I'm just going to have to pick that one anyway. Follow it up. Why not? There we go. Probably shouldn't have used a re-roll there. Get this guy. Um, have we got anywhere? Where's other people? Get that guy over there, maybe? No, we'll get this guy over there to Griff. And we'll crowd Griff because then I should get a two-dice block. There we go. Two-dice block. Yes. Defender down. So I'm going to push him there. He's got Fend, so I can't follow up. That's fine. But then... I can get this guy over to there. There. Hang on. There. See, I want to get that guy blitzing. I want to get him there. Okay. 
and then I want to get the guy with the ball to blitz him. Three dice I choose. Here we go. I want to see some of them yellow. Sweet, sweet yellow. There it is. Defender down. He's moving there. I can't choose where he's getting pushed back to because he got sidestep. I am going to follow it up. Bang! He hits the deck and I move forward one. Can't really go any further. A bit too risky. That's fine. This guy, three dice I choose. I'll just use the pushback. He's probably got sidestep. Yes, yeah, so I'll still follow that up. I'm just pretty much putting everybody in one big lump here. Let's see if I can get this guy over to there. Still a one in six chance of me falling over and I have used my reroll for this turn. There we go. He's there. Punch this guy in the face. Defender down, but he's probably got dodge. He has, so I just literally push him back. There we go. And then this will be one dice I choose. And both down. We both got blocks, so nothing really happens. There we go. Um, honestly, this is the... <clears throat> is this right? Is what I'm about to say right? Is it accurate? Probably. I think this is one of the only games, if not the only game, that is better than the source material. As in, the board game of Blood Bowl is a great game. The computer game is better. I said it. I said it, alright? I, I don't. I didn't think I would ever really say that. I, my, my, my normal... Uh, I, I normally say that the board game is always better because it's about you being with your mates and, you know, actually ex having that experience, right? But in this case, you don't have to work out all the annoying def like blocks and defense and all the other garbage that you have to go through with Blood Bowl. Not garbage, but it is really tedious at times. So I actually prefer this to the uh, to the, to the board game. Anyway, let's uh, let's see if we can get some guy up there. I want to get some more defending in. Uh, that guy's got two dice I choose. I really want to knock him over. I, I can't. And he's going to sidestep over to there. I don't want to follow up. No. This guy, I want to punch him in the face. And the chances of me doing it are fairly high. I will push him to there. And we'll follow up. There we go. This guy's going to punch him. Which we'll get a push back. We'll push him to there. And I'll follow up. And this guy's going to punch him. Eventually, I'm going to get him. Nope, apparently not. And we're going to push him towards the wall, the edge and keep following it up. So there we go. Griff, I've got two dice I choose. He's got block, but I've got tackle. Bang! Griff goes on the floor. See you later, Griff. This will be two dice I choose. He's got dodge and block. I'm going to re-roll that, see if I can get a lucky roll. Yes, I have. So he's going to move there. I'm going to hit him, follow it up. And I don't have the pylon ability there. These guys, as you can see, they've got Mighty Blow, which gives me plus one armor value. Uh, plus one to armor and injury rolls. Because what you have to do is beat their armor and then do an injury roll if you go through the armor. I've also got Claw, which gives me... Uh, well, basically, it counts as their armor as eight, uh, even if it's higher. So against dwarves and stuff, it's really good. So I'm actually going through their armor on a roll of seven... Or more. Do you have to beat it? I don't know if you have to beat it or equal it, but either way, it's um, just over 50-50 uh, chance because it's two dice, two d6. So the, obviously you're rolling between two and twelve. So yeah, it's um, something that you uh, often get, uh, what often see, just knocking people out. So it's turn four of sixteen because you do two halves, eight and then eight. Let's even get the minotaur up. The minotaur's got up finally, and I'm going to move him towards Griff. I'm going to stand him there next to Griff's just so I use the strength. Now I want to get a rule. This is problematic because I need to get this guy in there. Now I reckon I can get him in the box because I have dodge and my agility is three. So I'm okay with that. I've also got uh, two heads. And two heads, yes. So I can I get plus one to all dodge rolls. So the chance of that guy getting there is high. That guy has not got anything to stop me. That guy has not got anything to stop me. If one of them had shadowing, then that would be problematic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll all my safe rolls, arguably safe rolls. There's really no such thing in Blood Bowl. So all of the two dice blocks I'm going to get sorted first. I'll move that guy up to there just in case. I'll move that guy over to there just in case. I want to get this guy down, I think. Yeah, I'll use... I'll put him there. And I'm going to blitz with him. Two dice I choose. This is on the guy there. Oh, that's not good. We're going to have to push him to there. We'll follow it up. It's just a pushback. Okay, I can handle that. That is two dice I choose. That is two dice I choose. Okay, so we'll just crowd the plate. Crowd this guy. Crowd Griff. Crowd him. Can I go over here? Yeah, this is the catcher. What I want to do is make sure that they can't get the ball off me, then lob it over to their catcher and then put it in the box. Right, we'll just charge this in. Dodged it. It's in there. Bang. Touchdown. 1-0. Lovely, and we got all of the replay stuff. We'll stop all that. 
And there you go, one guy dead from them and one guy knocked out. There's all their players on the bench. They've got a fair amount of it. So I'm kicking off in this one, so I might as well move my players further up, right? The thing is, if I really wanted to, I could move people further back, but I'm not really too bothered about that. When you kick off, you get, well, oh, Blitz, the defense starts a turn early, so they get, ah, I can, I get a free bonus turn. Oh, that's perfect. That is absolutely beautiful. Let me get people in here. Yeah, when you kick off, you, uh, it's, it's, the opponent gets uh, the turn first, so I want to be careful here. What I want to do, I want to get a guy over there. Is, yeah, the ball's landing there. I want to get a guy there. That guy can't get there, but if I blitz him out the way. No, let's blitz him out the way. Let's get this sorted. This is like a free turn here. I'm going to re-roll that. Why not? I'm just going to push him back. There we go. This guy's going in there. This guy's going in there. Oh, that's wrong. Because I've... Oh, that was close. I had to do a dodge there. And we'll get that guy in there. There we go. And job done. Right, we'll end the bonus event. There we go. But yes, the... Uh, when you kick off, you you don't get the first turn. They, well, they get the they get the turn, which is bad if you have a big line across there because it means they can kick the crap out of you. If you only put the minimum three men on the front, then it's a bit better for you because you might get you know as hurt. However, since my team is built to knack people, I don't mind making a big line. Right now, what the computer is doing here, it's actually making a cage. Right, what it's doing, it's trying to obviously Griff's got the ball there. That guy's now on the floor. Uh, but Griff's got the ball, and they're trying to make a cage around him like that. Like that. So we can't, I can't get the ball off him. Very sensible decision. What I am going to do, though, is start punching their players to death. So we're just going to keep going forward. Bang! That guy's on the floor. I'm going to get that guy. Uh, that would be a bit too risky. Start punching people. Get all the safe stuff out the way. Arguably, like I say, arguably the safe stuff. Bang! And pile on. Pile on! There we go. And I fall over, but he's still there, sadly. Right, that guy will get a bit of a pile on here, I think. Yes, so so he's knocked out, <laughs> and I can't follow up because I uh, he's got fend. Okay, so move this guy up to there. 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 Get that guy to do a two dice block. We'll knock him down. Boom. There we go. And then, Minotaur, blitz him, please. Oh, re-roll. Oh, come on, game! Oh, what a fat head of, of a game. <laughs> Insert massive amounts of generic profanity here. Oh, I can't... Two in... Twice in a row that he's rolled two skulls and then I've re-rolled and failed the re-roll. Ooh, that's annoying. Hmm. <laughs> It's probably my penance for playing this team. Anyway, we will wait and see what happens. Um, the thing, Blood Bowl, like you say, it's a, it's a game that I play, um, you know, on and off. I've been playing on and off, and some, we, what, what happens is we end up just going, let's have a, me and a couple of friends will go, let's just have a a big session of it, and we'll have a, we'll have a league going and such. And it's always fun in the online. There's a lot of people playing online. A lot of, there's actually just come out on tablets as well. And I thought, oh, yes, that's awesome. Because, you know, I, I don't do much tablet gaming. And if at all, really, there's only uh, there's only a couple of games that I would consider good. But the thing is, it there seems to be this binary combination of the rather absolute freemium shite bilge bollocks that you get on tablets or the fantastic. That's what that's what I've uh, you know that's what that's what I seem to encounter, and I thought oh blood ball on tablet that'll be amazing that'll be perfect, and then I saw that you only get two teams with it and it costs money to buy and then you get all the you have to buy for microtransactions and DLC and all this other stuff to get the separate teams and there's only another six teams in it so why would I want to do that when I can just pay five or when this thing's on sale and uh, get like twenty three teams, you know whatever. Anyway, let's punch this guy in the face. Uh, we'll knock him back. He's going to go to them. Not going to follow it up. Then this guy will not punch him in the face. Right, we need to get this ball off him. And the chances are that I'm going to get it off here because I have... Yep, there we go. He hasn't got block. So, uh, sorry, dodge. So I'll punch him. There we go. He goes there. I'm going to run into there. Fail to pick up the ball. And then Griff picks it up. The game hates me. I'm just going to point that out. <laughs> the game hates me. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. I don't think they can get it in the box. This is their seventh turn which means they've got this turn and next before we end it so I don't think they're gonna do this hmm. 
Right. So let's see what happens here. Looks like they're knocking my guy back. Griff's probably going to run out, but he's going to have to go past my tackle zones. And this guy's got tentacles. So he can't move any further. Yep, there we go. This tentacle on that guy is really good. Um, oh, right. So now it did happen. Just a bit delayed. Two dice I choose. Guess what? Attack her down. Bang! That was over there, actually. We're not there. Oh, well. So their turn over. They can't score. There's nothing they can do to score this turn. However, I might be able to score if I'm very, very lucky. Okay? So let's see if I can... Let's see if we can do this. So first things first, this guy blitz in there. So I'll get a push back. I'll push him back to there. I've got Frenzy. So I'll roll another two dice. And we'll knock him down. We've both got block. Right, this guy I can't do anything with. That's the guy I need to run into the box. Now, I don't think I'm going to score. But what I can do is keep knocking these guys over. Oh, that's wrong. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, we'll put him to there. There we go. That was bad. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, almost not. got my player knocked over. Um, is there anything I can do? I can get you into there. And I can get more players around here to try and get some better results. Like I say, I'm just trying to sort of knock them out here. Right, that guy can go in there. So I should be two dice I choose. No, it's only one dice. What I'll do is I'll get this safe block over here done then. There we go. I'll knock him down. And we'll not follow up. Bang! He's, yeah, he's just face down. Knock this guy, the catcher, out. Follow him to there. Bat, no. See, obviously, these are just getting knocked um, knocked over, really, so it's nothing major. This guy will hit him. Bat, and he's fallen over, and we'll end the turn there. Right. Yeah, when they're like that, when the face when the face down, uh, the only thing they can do is turn face up in that turn. The computer automatically does it. Again, one of the things that it automates. And the next turn, you can manually stand them up. It, if you knock them out, which there is a knocked out player, that was two knocked out players, there's a chance of them getting back up after the end of each try. Try, touchdown, try, rugby, rugby, try, touchdown, American football, this is Blood Bowl, based on American football, yeah, that sort of thing. Um, and that guy's dead, so he's just not getting me back up, no. Uh, you can play undead, by the way, and yes, you can use dead things, so <laughs> it's interesting. Um, right, so, are we going to be able to do anything? I don't think so, it's just basically seeing what the computer does on this one. I'm just watching it crack on. Oh, well, I'm a bit of a lie back. Hmm. But yeah, I would love to, um, it'd be interesting doing like a, oh, a full, a series of uh, Blood Bowl on the channel, uh, doing like a, like not a, not a league, but just doing like a, a campaign of it, and uh, you can obviously watching the team build up and watching the things play, that would be quite good, I'd be up for it anyway, oh, yeah, one of their guys got back up, so anyway, I'm kicking off again, so I'm just going to keep the same position to be honest with you, because I can't be bothered to move it, and then we'll boot it off, so... Oh, that, where's that going? Uh, kickoff table is nice weather. You can change the kickoff table can change, so you might you might change it so it get, well you roll and it says oh yes it's it's pissing down. You get minus one to pick balls up or you know it's uh, it's snowing. You you know the chance of you slipping over are higher. So you know it uh, it can change. I just realised I'm versing the Reichland Reavers, which are actually quite a famous team in Blood Bowl. I mean I'm sort of pounding them into the ground at the moment. I'm no, not really. I've only got one knocked out and one dead, so it's not too bad, really. So they're doing a blitz on me. It's two dice I choose. I'll pick the pushback. They'll push me back to there, and he didn't follow up because he's sensible. And now the ogre tried to hit my guy. Looks like it was two dice I choose, and I've put, put him in the dirt. So let's get that guy over to there just to crowd him, and then I'm going to get my Chaos Warrior charging down. So what I want to do is start crowding this thing here. And I'll bring this guy round, like so. Start crowding the ball. And I want to make sure that... Who do I want to blitz? I want to blitz him, but I want to do it from there and get that guy round, and then that'll be two dice I choose. Yes, it is. That's fine. Get that guy up to there. And then we'll start moving these round, actually. Yeah, that's two dodges. That's don't really like the sound of that. That's two dodges again. That's no dodges. Let's do that. Now, can I go a little bit further? I could risk it. Let's risk it. Yep, I'm going to have to re-roll. Oh, that was a bit risky. Anyway, let's get this guy hitting that guy. Uh, both got blocks, so he's going to block each other. Minotaur. Let's get the Minotaur. Oh, he's failed his uh, roll, so that's fine. He's just going to wild animal. Let's, let's hit this guy. 
bat. There we go. And now we'll get that guy into there just to get the tackle zones around. And now I'm going to blitz. I could try and blitz him, but it's two dice he chooses and I'm going to need a dodge. So I'm just going to blitz him, which is two dice I choose. No dodge required. And the perfect result. Defender down. Follow up. Bat him. He's been knocked out. And we'll move up. And we're piled on. And then I've just... What have I done? What have I done? I'm getting an action replay. Look at that. Oh, yes. What have I done to him? I think it was... Oh, I damaged his back. <laughs> He's got a damage back. Means that guy's on the floor because he did his piling on. But that guy is now off the team. Well, he's off his... Uh yeah, he's out, basically. There he is over there. He won't be back this round, this match. There's Griff charging around, and he's knocked one of my guys out, and he's following it up. Yeah, Griff's an amazingly good player. Look at his stats, man. Movement 7, Strength 4, Agility 4, Armor Value 8. Dodge, Sprint, Block, Fend, Lona, Shoe, Feet. And looks like I've knocked another guy out after you try to dodge. Amazing. Right, so get that guy up there straight away. Obviously, if you don't get your guys up and you, f and you get a turnover, then it's really, really bad. So... Uh, that guy, yeah, that's two dice I choose. What I want to do is get... I have a... I have a... I have a yeah, this is risky. Do this. Has that guy... He's got safe throw, shoe, hands and pass. But he hasn't... <laughs> he hasn't got... Sidestep. So he can't choose where he's going. So I'm going to... Knock him out, actually, apparently. Bang! Um, yep, there we go. <laughs> uh... What have I done? What have I done to him? I have badly hurt him. The plan was to push him there, and if he just got a push back and push him to there, then that guy would just go, just tap, and then push him into there. But it didn't happen, because I knocked him out anyway. So that's fine. I can handle that. Let's move into there. Gonna have to go for it. An extra reroll. Problematic now. Ball's around there. Let's get all these blocks in. So you, Minotaur, you get him. Push back. Push him back to there. And then I get another roll. There we go, and we'll knock him out, push him back to there, and, oh my good grief. <laughs> I think I mentioned something about this team being a bit hurty. That guy's now got a badly hurt on him. So yeah, that happened. Uh, let's knock this guy out. Nah, it's only going to be a pushback, I'm afraid. And that guy, two dice on that guy there. Uh, we'll push back, push him to there, follow it up. There we go. That guy, two dice I choose. We'll knock him back. He's got tackle. Oh, sorry. He's got dodge, but I've got tackle, so I get it. I've knocked him out, so he's off, off the team. Um, I'll move him into there. I'll move the Chaos Warrior into there. And what else have I got? This guy. I'm going to try and dodge him out of the way. There we go. Into here, just so I can crowd this. And then I'm going to try and pick up that ball. Chances are I'm not going to do it. I didn't. But it did bounce the ball behind me, so they're going to have to go around me or start knocking, knocking me out. However... If they were sensible, but this I don't know if the computer's that smart, they would try and knock that guy out or push him so he pushes into there. The ball would then go into the crowd, then it would be flung back in somewhere random. There we go. But, you know, what's happening here? Looks like the ogre is hitting my Chaos Warrior. Didn't really do a lot, though. Looks like they're trying to knock my guy's back. <laughs> As you would expect. Oh, pushed him back there. All right, two dice I choose on here. Yeah, guess what? Tack it down. Bang! face down. Uh, don't know if you've got the vibe, but the game doesn't necessarily have to be about playing football. <laughs> anyway, let's push this guy back to there. Push that guy back. Let's get all the safe uh, stuff in. Bat! And we're going to pile on him. Pile on him. Didn't do anything, really. Mm, hit him. Reroll that. Yeah. Keep... Bang! He's been knocked out. Three dice I choose here. Can have that one. Follow it up. Hit him here. Yep. And we will follow it up. Bosh. Right. Get that guy back. Ah. Problematic here. Let's get that guy over there. There we go. Oh, I should get some more dice. One dice. Get that guy up. Get that guy up. That's Griff Overwall there. I don't want to get near him. Hit that guy for two dice. Knock him out. Not follow it up. He's knocked out. Good. And now this guy, pick up the ball for three plus. Failed. I've already used my reroll. Damn it. Okay. Fine. I can handle it. I can handle it. Let's have a look at their team so far. One, two, three, four, five knocked out. Four uh, dead or serious injured. Uh, serious injured. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Blood Bowl's a marvelous game. There's Griff, and he's on the floor. They're, they're playing desperately now because they're losing men. Now, I have a bit of a choice here. I can either. Plant the ball at the end, right? Which is something that you would probably expect me to do. However, if I do that... 
Oh god, she's badly hurt someone again. Oh no, what was that? That wasn't badly hurt. That was smashed collarbone. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I could just keep doing this and basically take their team out to nothing. Right? Block. Uh, come around that way and blitz him. Uh, failed me wild animal. Oh well. You know what? I'm going to go there, pick that up. Re -re -re roll the pickup as well. Oh well. I failed to pick it up on 4 plus and then failed the pickup re roll. Oh well. Yeah, I could either keep doing this, keep smashing away, because they've only got three players on the pitch now. One, yeah. One, two, three players. That's all they've got left on the pitch. Right? I could keep doing that. Griff failed it. No, Griff failed it. That guy failed it. And then it went back to Griff. Is it, oh, which one's Griff? No, that's just a catcher and that's a star player. Right, okay. So, let's move. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so, we'll hit him with that. He's got dodge. And we'll hit him again. And we'll hit him with that. And he's just going to keep moving closer out the box, which is not good. And this is going to be, this is going to hurt him. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that's going to finally hurt him. But, there we go. Keep on hitting these guys. Push back over there, actually. I want to push him closer to that. I want to get this guy in here. And I want to start battering this guy in the face. So, batter that guy. Griff. Push him back. There we go. And then, I want to see if my Chaos Warrior can pick a ball up. No, he can't. Are he roll? Now he can. We will... Do we fling it? Yeah, look, I'll show you how we fling stuff. You just right-click, and you go, Lob the ball! Oh, it happened as well. Lob the ball! Perfect launch. Sailed over. Onto that guy. And then, guess what? We're going to charge it forward. And... We are going to not go any further. Because I'm probably going to drop the ball and it would not work out. This guy going around here. I want to get Griffin at the stands. That's the objective of this now. Move him over to there. We'll uh, end the turn. End of match imminent. So we're on turn 14. Or they're on turn 14. What I'm probably going to do is just keep that guy at the back there. Wait and wait and wait. And then on the last turn I will... Uh, I'll um, probably... Just put it in the box. This guy's rolling against me. We'll put both down. There we go. Right, so, Minotaur. Two dice, uh, three dice I choose. We'll pick the knockdown. Bang. Right, Griff, welcome to the stands. Population U. Into the stands, and the crowd come and beat the living shite out of him. <laughs> Star player. Yeah, whatever, mate. That doesn't work out. You're on the floor. Right, so they now have uh, a couple of players left. <laughs> Two players left on the field. Reroll that, why not? Claude. Right, now there's another tactic you can do. <laughs> um, let me just crowd this up. Here's another tactic you can do. You can get one bloke, and when they're on the floor, you can stamp on them. And uh, you get an armor roll, and he's turned face over. And we can only do that once. I'm going to get this guy right there, and we're going to end the turn. Now, he might have a firewall. That's something you have to be wary, wa wa be wary about. I don't think he's got one, though. Let's right, see if I can knock this guy out. Yep. And mighty blow, and it is... <laughs> I can't believe this. I, this, is ne this has never happened. <laughs> they have one person remaining on the pitch. You'd think the ref would call it, wouldn't you? You'd think the ref would be like, Nah, pack it in, mate. Pack it in. <laughs> Right, I'm going to stamp on this guy with 8 assists, get some, and the guy still didn't go through his armour, oh you know what, I'm just going to plant it in the box, it means they're going to get another turn, but and they'll get some players back on the pitch, but you know what, does it really matter, after all of this, right, there's my cheerleaders, they haven't got, oh, there's my rolls for getting people back out of the box, there's no one there, there's them, there's their team so far, oh, they've got an ogre back though, and another player, and the star player will come back, because obviously he was only pushed out. <laughs> oh, anyway, this is... This is uh, their last turn. This really is their last turn, to be honest with you. Uh, so, they can't, they can't score, they can't win. It's 2-0 to me, so obviously, yeah. Mm. There's nothing they can do, really. They're just going to have to keep charging around. See what they can do. 
They're rolling against me. We'll put both down there. They're basically going to do some really risky blocks because they might as well. They've got nothing to lose, but they've lost the game. Actually, the thing they have got to lose is that they're more, the more blocks they do, the more chance of their team getting smashed to pieces. Looks like they've done a bonehead on that. Right, my last turn. So I can either be very friendly and just call it a day, just end the turn, or I can start smashing their players up a bit more, see what we can do. And <laughs> seriously injure another one. <laughs> this is why you don't play this. Like, as a serious online thing, because I think it is just... Right, imagine someone has nurtured their team up from nothing, right? Hard fought, actually managed to play it, you know, playing football, doing the, you know, just playing well, right? They've got to say 1,800 rating, 2,800 rating, really good. And then this team comes along, right? Obviously, this is a massive team, you know, understand? This is really against what you would normally see. And then does that to your players. Imagine even half that, though. Imagine even half of that amount that of players badly injured and stuff. Badly hurt only means you miss the next game. That's all it means. But imagine a dead. Dead lineman with good, good stats. A couple of these with damage back and stuff. Minor statistics. You could lose a 1,000 team rating in one go, man. It's, it's shocking. That's why I don't do it. Anyway. Not against the people I like, anyway. So, let's move this in. And we're just going to blitz this guy here. Two dice I choose. We'll pick that one. Push him back. Bosh, he's face down, and we'll end the turn there. And that is the end of the match, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So, let's see the end result. So, empty in the stadium. Thank you very much, game. So, I've rolled four of my winnings, which for a total of 60,000 gold pieces. I will not re-roll winnings. It doesn't matter, because my team value is greater than 2,650, I'm losing 1,010 gold pieces anyway. So, I basically default to zero. Um, I had... They actually had more ball possession. And... More occupation, I think. But, yeah, team statistics. Look at the KOs, look at the casualties. <laughs> Yeah, I think I did quite well there. Let's go to next. And, uh, yeah. Oh, so my players have got advancements. That's advancement. Uh, let's do some advancements. Got a beastman here. So we will roll, move up. I can either get, choose a skill. But because I rolled two D six, because I rolled double six, I can actually get plus one in strength. We're going to get that. There we go. Any more advancements to get? No, I think that is about it. There you go. Uh, beverage plus Blood Bowl Chaos Edition. Hmm. Fantastic game. Really, really good game, and like you say, perfect beverage game. As always, thank you very much for watching. Comments in the comments, and generic partings.